We greet you in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Vinny L. Powell Sr. I'm the pastor of Greater Second Missionary Baptist Church. We hope that the sermon that you'll hear will be encouraging, inviting, and motivating for you. We hope that you will grow stronger in your faith walk by serving Jesus Christ. God bless you. to your people. Open up their ears and their hearts that we be able to hear from heaven. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. I got it. I got it. Don't have it. Say, wait a 
pray with men. <laughs> All right. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sittest in the seat of the scorefoot. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit and his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen. Amen. You may be seated Amen. in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 I ask God to give me a word today that will be beneficial for his people. During this season, most of us have a new year resolution. But today I would like to talk about a New Year revelation. All right. All right. A New Year revelation. All right. My Christian friend, again, God has almost allowed us to see a New Year. Amen. Tuesday would be New Year Eve. <clears throat> and we're going to be celebrating a new year. It is not because we've been so good, but because we have been so good to us. Anybody here know we've been good to you? And because, Pastor Powell, when we think about how the Lord has heard your petition, uh, entertained your supplication, uh, answered your prayer, yes, and healed your body, yes, and blessed you all through 2019, you, we ought to reach over and tell our neighbor, neighbor, yes, God has been good. To me. Go ahead and give him a high five if you want to. And say, neighbor, God has been good to me. And the Lord good. David said on one occasion, David said, Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. That's enough to shout about right there. I can almost just sit down and get a big issue right there. Bless his holy name. God has been good to me. He brought me from a mighty long way. Now the, youth, the new year is a time where people all over the world make new year resolutions. And the truth be told, we hear about resolution every new year. Ranging from, now when I get to yours, you say, that's mine. <laughs> Exercising more. Huh? That's yours? Some people say, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get organized. I'm going to learn a new skill or a new hobby. I'm going to live life to the fullest. I'm going to save money and spend less. Huh? I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to spend more time with my family. I'm going to travel more. I'm going to read more. Huh? I don't cover all your bases. Many of our revolution is failure time and time again. Uh, I did a research and they said only 40% 40 40 of the people that make New Year resolution only keep them. All right, but the reason why our resolution often fails, Deacon Morgan, is because resolution are self-imposed. Uh -huh. 
self will, uh -huh. self ideal, yes. that does not include the power of God. Uh -huh. The church don't pray for the hell? Yeah. yeah, does not include the power of God. Uh -huh. But we really, what we really need is not another New Year resolution, uh -huh. but a New Year revelation. Yes. Uh -huh. Because if the truth be told, the best revelation comes from God Amen. through the scripture right. that are divinely inspired by him. <clears throat> like Christian friend, a revelation contains, watch this, God plan and purpose for your life. Right. Did you not know that God has a plan and a purpose for your life? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your plan and your purpose that God has for your life is for you. Right. My plan and my purpose for my life is for me. Yes, is that right? right? In our text before, the summit here, he provided us to, with a spirit-filled revelation mm -hmm. that would guide us into 2020. All right. All right. Notice how he started the revelation. Right. By saying blessed. And the idea of blessed in the general sense connotes that it is something God does for us. All right. All right. Huh? All right. God did anything for you? Yes, Lord. I believe it was 1986 right. when Janet Jackson came out with the song, What Has He Done for You Lately? Right. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Let me just serve notice on you this morning. It wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up this morning. Yeah. Uh, it, it was God's divine finger that taught you and woke you up. What has he done for you lately? God, yeah, he, he dispatched an angel to watch over you all night last night. While you slept here unconscious in a danger in troublesome work. God put food on your table. God put a shelter over your head. God put clothes on your back. Ain't God good? Won't he make a way for you? We need to terminate some people in your service. Let me just purify that. I'm sick of why he said, Reverend, I'm going to terminate somebody. Yeah, yeah. We need to terminate some folks in your circle. Yes, right. All of us have some folks in our circle that we need to get rid of. Yes, right. huh? yes, right. We need to also delete some contact in your cell phone. Right. The scripture said in Hebrews 12 and verse 1 in the B portion, so let us lay aside every weight and sin which do so easily beset us and let us run with patience the rain that is set before us. Is that right? Because in our text, let's look up this here. In our text, the writer mentioned three groups of people. He said the ungodly, the sinners, and the scornful. I wish somebody would ask me, preacher, what's the difference between the three? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. The ungodly are those who sin knowingly and feel no conviction. Huh? I said the ungodly are those who sin knowingly and feel no conviction. The sinners are those who sin openly. And the scornful are those who sin and encourage others to join them. Y'all know anybody that fall in those three groups? Huh? And what the summit here is telling us is in 2020, we have to bless yourself by terminating some people who mean you no good. Huh? There are some people just hang around you just to get what they can get from you. They don't mean you no good at all. You got to get rid of those folks. Sometimes you have to get rid of them just start serving the Lord. They'll go their way. And you just go your way. Huh? Because they sure enough not coming to church. They go everywhere else with you, but I guarantee you they ain't coming to church with you. Oh, y'all don't hear me today? Yeah, they, they don't mean you no good at all. They're hanging around you to get what they can get. Is that right? Not only do you need to get rid of some 
some folk that hang around you that don't mean you no good, but you just delete some numbers in your cell phone. Because if you hang around wood long enough, guess what? You start howling like a wood. I know it sounds harsh, but it is holy. It is rich. What's the difference about it? It is rich. Be ye holy, for I am holy. That's why Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 6 chapter and verse 17. He said, Wherefore, come out from among them and be separated, saith the Lord. In other words, we have to bless yourself by not walking or standing or sitting with people who don't mean you no good. You never see me hanging around with somebody that ain't going nowhere. Uh, because I'm pressing toward the mark of the high calling of Christ Jesus. I'm, I'm moving on far to another level. Well, not only do we need to terminate some people in our circles, and delete some number. Uh -huh. But the text here also reveals that we have to saturate ourselves in a divine principle of the Word of God. All right. In other words, we want to, if you want to be blessed in 2020, how many of y'all want to be blessed in 2020? We have to get a Bible and read it. Huh? Some people that nobody here though, some people they they, 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 they buy it, they got so many dust on it, and they'll never take it out <coughs> until Sunday morning. Is that right? Yeah. Right. yeah. The Bible says we got to get a Bible and we got to read it. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, yes, rightly divided the word of truth. Yes, Some of us don't know that there are 39 books in the Old Testament uh -huh. and 27 books in the New. Yes, Some of us don't realize there are 66 books in the entire Bible. Yes, uh -huh. yes, we got to get a Bible and we got to read it. Yes, Is that right? Yes, so if you really want to be blessed, and see God do great things in your life in 2020. We got to get a Bible. We got to read it. And we got to believe what it says. Is that right? And you really want to be see God do more and more in your life in a mighty way in 2020. Like I said, we got to get a Bible. We got to read it, and we got to pray. Yeah, you got to pray. You got to go on your knees sometimes. Yeah, because things are going to go the way that you will have them to go. You got to pray. All right. Get a Bible. You got to read it. You got to pray. Is that right? That's right. Here it is. You get a Bible and you need to read it and believe it and pray and apply it to your everyday life. Is that right? Sunday school, the Bible study should be full. Mm -hmm. Amen. I said, I said Sunday school, the Bible study should be full. Sure. 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 Now, always sit at home sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> Watching TV. Y'all yeah. yeah. to be here on Sunday school. Yeah. Wednesday on Bible study. Yes, and study God divine word. Yes, Lord. Is that right? Amen. If you really want to grow in 2020. You have to sacrifice yourself. You got to lay aside what you want to do and do what God wants you to do. Is that right? And sometimes, sometimes you got to run away from doing the thing that our way and God is doing things God's way. Is that right? Delighting ourselves in the law of God. And watch the Lord take your faith to another level. How many of y'all want your faith to move to another level? How many of y'all want your faith to be elevated? Notice here what the Psalms to say. He said, the light. Y'all think of the Bible open? The light. Now the word, the light does not mean what you like. In other words, we delight in oxygen. Why? 
because if we were without oxygen, we couldn't survive. Yeah. We delight in our eyesight. Because without it, we couldn't see. Yeah. We delight in the activity of our limbs. But without it, we couldn't move around. Amen. We delight in the blood that runs through our veins. But without it, we would die. And likewise, my Christian friends, we have to delight ourselves in the Word of God. Because the Word is our spiritual life support. How many of y'all know that the Word is your spiritual life support? That's why we should, according to Joshua 1 8, the Bible said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but I shall meditate therein. Day and night. Yeah. Why should we meditate? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. Now that I may observe to do according to all that is written therein. Well, not only do we need to terminate some people in our circles well. and delight and delete some contact numbers uh -huh. and saturate ourselves in the Word of God, yes, but the text also suggests to us we have to stay planted. In the word of God. Huh? You have to stay planted in this word. Yeah, we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You see, the river represents God's divine supply for our lives. The Bible says, but my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Right. You see, when we are planted in the Word of God, that's what we, I love about Pastor Powell. He is planted in the Word of God. And when you are planted, the winds and the storm of life may come, but you are planted. <laughs> I just said something right there. I said the wind and, and the storm of life may still blow your way, but because you are planted and rooted in the Word of God, yeah, you have been anchored in the Word of the Lord. Anybody here been anchored in the Word of the Lord? The reason why many Christians fall by the wayside is because they are not planted in God's Word. They believe in it and everything. But when you are planted, yes, you have been anchored in the word of the Lord. Yes. All right. God has placed your life uh -huh. in his care. Yes, Lord. And when you stay planted in the word of God, uh -huh. nothing can stop nothing. or hinder you from the process that God is going to take you up to. Yes, Lord. I'm looking for God to take me higher, higher. in 2020. Higher. Yeah, I'm looking for God to take me to another level yes, Lord. in 2020. Anybody here want to go to another level with me? Or you want to stay right there where you are? Anybody here want to move up a little bit higher? Or you just want to stay right there where you are? There are some people there that, that, that are content for being in their little circle. This is how big they swivers are right here. They ain't trying to explore. They ain't trying to go to another level. They're just content for being right here. They're not trying to move forward. They're not trying to see what everybody else is doing. They're just content for being right here. I want to go to a, another level in 2020. You have to stay planted in the word of the Lord. Ain't the Lord good? Won't he make a way for you? Has he been good to you? And you really know that God been good to you. Why don't you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Come on up. That's 
a little bit of hot. Come on up just a little bit of hot. I'm going to make you ruler over me. Ain't the Lord good? He wants to bring joy to your home. Hope for your despair. Power for your life. Peace for your anxiety. Truth for your life. Healing for your hurting. He wants to give you rest when you're weary. Comfort in the midst of crisis. Help in the midst of hope in the list. He wants to give you peace in the midst of trouble. Solution in the midst of problems. Ain't the Lord good? He want to make a way for you. Don't know about you today. I don't know about you today, but I'm going to hold on to an unchanging hand. Because he brought me from a mighty long. I thank God for Jesus today. He died on the old broken cross for me. He died on Friday. Stayed there all day Friday. All night Friday night. All day Saturday. All night Saturday night. But early on Sunday morning. I'm changing hands. And he will make a way for you.